And I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. Today we are talking about Lake Oroville. And before we get to that, you are currently looking at a video from Steve from yesterday. He went up to Lake Oroville. Now, I appreciate everything Steve does for me. And he has kindly asked me to ask the viewers to help support his efforts. Now, he is getting paid very little for me because I get paid very little. I'm not sure if you guys are aware. I make peanuts for the amount of time that I put into this effort. I do it for you guys more more than the money. Now Steve is putting a lot of effort in and he bought a camera. He's spending money on gas and he asked me to ask you if you could kindly donate like a dollar or two or whatever you can afford to donate. I know times are tough. He uses the cash app and I will link it below and it's dollar sign Steve BZ one. You can give him whatever you want and I have never asked for donations. I appreciate it. The few people that have. As you can see here, this is my last video on this thanks button. People have donated every now and again and I really appreciate that. I really don't ask for much. I have a job but Steve though on the other hand, he is going out and getting the efforts and I'm giving 20% of any amount of money that I make so it's just not much. Really it just isn't. He hasn't even made enough to pay for his gas of all the running around he did and he would really like the viewers to help him out so we appreciate his efforts I appreciate his efforts, so he said if he gets enough income, we could go to Further Away Lakes. He's talking about possibly going to Trinity Shasta and helping out the channel anyway, but, you know, it costs money to do that, and it's coming out directly out of his pocket, seeing any return on his investment whatsoever. Heck, I have barely break even every year doing this, to be quite frank. But I do enjoy it, and I appreciate everybody that has helped, so just keep that in mind. If you can't do it, I get it. Times are tough, but if you can, that would be well appreciated and let's continue to roll on here as we roll out to windy.com like we always do and you can see the next three days are actually going to be fairly dry in california with the exception of a little bit of precipitation down here south of big pine and we scoot in 1.21 and right in this area around mammoth lakes just a little bit not a whole lot even going on in the colorado river area here so a little bit up here in northwest california so just not a whole lot of precipitation we go to the next five and that does change and there's more precipitation good news for trinity is 3.35 we go to the gfs i prefer to use the gfs but they're still talking about a couple inches of rain for trinity it's still fairly down and we will be talking about that here in a little bit 3.17 we go to south lake tahoe 1.14 and 2.56 we go down to Yuba City, we go over to Sacramento, Stockton, Groveland, Mammoth Lake, Portersville, Bakersfield, you get 3.8. So just not a whole lot in the next five. We go to the next 10 and a little bit more, especially up here. They're talking about almost five inches for Shasta, Trinity, and then Oroville's supposed to get another 4.38. So the wetness continues. It's not as wet over here in southeast California. So we'll be watching to see if that changes. You can see that it's going to be fairly wet through here. Now this is the GFS, the European. It's calling for more rain further south. So we'll see what ultimately ends up winning out. We're going to roll out to the snowpack. I don't have much time so I need to get on. Usually I talk about tropical tidbits and I will be back at a later date. I have plenty to do today. A lot to do here and then a lot to do with the family too as well. So we're going to continue to roll on here. Here we are at the snow water equivalent in inches and you can see that we are getting really close to that april 1st date we are six days away from there and you can see how close these are 180 for your april 1st average 182 for the north for today's date 227 230 for the central 282 and 286 now i don't know how this will change come april 1st i'm not quite sure if they just stop this year might be the exception of the rule or they're going to continue it looks like we're going to have snow way past april 1st so we will see see when it ultimately happens it's about the time whenever everything seems to start to melt i want to go back to windy.com real quick and i want to show you if that snow or rain because i forgot to look so let's check that out real quick so you can see this is 3.65 now is this new snow yes so they're still going to be getting snow up in here 36 inches and that's the european and then we go to gfs and you can see that's 28 inches so a lot of snow's coming for the area here and this cold wind 
winter has really not lit up much. We had like one rainstorm out of all the snow that we got in California that actually was warm enough brought the elevation way up but this is a pretty good swath and both models are fairly in agreement so they're not that far off. The European usually is aggressive and the GFS is usually conservative so we'll see which one ultimately wins out and let's keep on rolling here. We are going to go out to Lake Oroville's hourly water rate here and see what's going on and you're looking at a live video there of the dam and you can see that it's still rolling over. We will continue to roll on here. As as we are at the water resource, you can see that at the 9 o'clock hour, the water level is 856.74. You can see that things starting to rise. There's more water coming in than going out now. They have slowed it down. There was a time where they were letting 25,000 CFS out. Now they're down to 13,401, so they're really starting to slow it down a bit. And your inflows are 15,956, so I guess they're trying to bring up the level some. And we will go to my graph that I have. I'm starting to slowly rebuild my graphs, and this is today's graph. You can see where it really shot up and then they slowly let it down and now it's starting to just barely creep up and I'm sure they're probably going to keep it that way. They'll probably start to match the inflows and the outflows accordingly so it kind of stays around 850. I think that's a good safe number, 856. That's not terrible. So we'll continue to roll out. Eventually I'll have all new graphs for you guys. So I'm working on that. That just takes time. I'm trying to get it where it's automatically done so we'll have to wait and see when that happens. Let's continue to roll on down to Lake Shasta next. Here we are at Lake Shasta and you can see that the water level is 1032.83. Your storage acre feed is 3,604,405. Your outflows are 4,384. This is the highest outflows I've seen from them in a while. And your inflows are 16,219. And we go out to the line graph here. Here's the line graph and the level's only 34.21 feet below full pool of 1,067. You can see at 1,032.83 that the level's getting closer or 34.17 feet and you can see this really bumped up starting around March 12th and it really come up before that it started around January 2nd and it came way up all the way to January 17th and then it slowly rise I think we hit the peak and it'll slowly start to rise up until this next system comes in but once this next system it'll start to bump up now how high will they allow it to get we're getting close to that 167 mark they're only 34.17 feet away I think all the reservoirs could possibly be filled ex with the exception of Trinity because it was so far down. Let's go to Trinity next and see what's going on there. Here we are at Trinity and you can see that the level is 2,242.82 feet. No outflows. The inflows have been 2,186. In the last hour they haven't released that information. Your current storage acre feet 894,486 and let's go to the line graph here and you can see the line graph is up above the cedar stock boat ramp so they finally got that in the top of the glory holes 2370 so we will watch this very carefully coming up and we are going to continue to roll on here i want to talk about percentage of capacity for all the lakes as we go there now you can see like new bullards bar is 83 lake oroville 82 lake shasta 79 trinity 36 simona 71 san louis 95 kachuma 81 the lowest one are trinity at 36 you got to remember it was at 33 at one point not so long ago and the other lowest one would be new malone so you have two in the 50s and you have one in the 60s Diamond Valley and then the rest are Costhetics at 59% and Pine Flats at 77 so that is all I have for today once again please help Steve and I will leave his cash act link below so you can you can go to cash app and type in his name and send him a few bucks and it'll be greatly appreciated with that being said you guys have a blessed day and we will see you on the next one God bless